So I am officially two weeks post-op and this is what my boobs look like. They look so cute. I love my results so far. They're still really high. They have a lot more to go down. Like they got to drop into the pocket and the swelling, like I'm still really swollen. I feel like I didn't even get surgery. Like I feel so good and I can lift my arm up again. Like I'm holding the camera and I feel fine. So I feel good right now. But I'm gonna do like an in-depth video of like talking about my recovery process and all the way up to like my two weeks. So you guys check that out if you guys are interested to like see further details of my recovery. And tomorrow the packing company comes to pack our entire house up to get ready for this big cross-country move to Indiana. I've been going through it like emotionally because although we know like this is kind of like something that we both agreed on I just keep getting like this feeling like I'm scared like I don't want to regret it in the future like I'm just I'm afraid of letting go of our house not being able to find a house over there for a long time because I know how the market is and it's nationwide I know everything like the prices are really high I'm genuinely afraid of letting go of our house and regretting it later down the line and that type of fear it's like I can't explain it it's like no other especially because I'm really close to my mom and my sister I just pray that you know God's with us every step of the way and our decisions are good I'm just afraid of the unknown packing company is coming tomorrow then we have Saturday it's a huge community garage style so we're gonna try to get rid of as many things as possible in this garage style and just open up our garage and whatever we're not gonna take with us to like our cross country move we're gonna either sell it really really cheap or just give it away for free and then Tuesday uh, the moving company comes so they're gonna come and pick up all the things that are already packed up and they're just gonna stop put it on the truck and then that means Tuesday we are officially like our house is gonna be empty we're not gonna have a bed we're not gonna have TV we're not gonna have a refrigerator like we're not gonna have a damn thing in the house so we're like okay so what are we gonna do uh, because our projected time to leave California was the 17th of April and we're gonna be our house is gonna be completely empty by the 11th so it's gonna be like a week of us not having a damn thing in the house. So we're gonna to have to end up leaving sooner. So we're gonna have, like we're leaving next week. Friends and family, like they think we're leaving the 17th. It's getting real. I even, like my best friend, she's asking if she can come over next Tuesday and next Tuesday is when the moving company comes. So I'm gonna to have to tell her like, hey girl, like no, like we're not gonna have a damn thing in the house and we're leaving Tuesday, you know, or like Wednesday. But everything is just kind of like hitting me right now. Like I have been an emotional wreck for the last couple of days. Like when it comes to like my kids, um, my son, like he's so super familiar with the house when he has to go potty. Like he, you know, all the little things. Um, my daughter learned how to walk in this house. Like we built this house. Like if you guys haven't seen that video, we actually shared our experience of purchasing the house and building this house up from the ground up. And there's just so much. Like this move, I didn't realize how much is gonna affect me emotionally so I just pray that like things end up turning out to be really good for us in the future I just feel like I need to like get that out and like let you guys know my um, emotional experience throughout the whole process because it's just real I even joined a group on Facebook which is called life after California because when it comes to the politics of California it's just so many like reasons why leaving california is like the smartest thing to do with being a homeowner in california right now and the taxes are projected to go up six more times this year you know like we just saw it to be a perfect opportunity to start fresh in another state getting closer to the day i realized that like my values do lie a lot in um just family like i value family time so much and it's it's tough the reason why i even wanted to leave the house in the first place is because we both got out of the military around the same time i think it was like a six month difference i got out before he did his goal at first was to join like the police academy here or like the sheriff you know be a cop out here that kind of fell through so we needed to have like a backup plan and we just started like thinking strategically and like really planning out our our life and we could definitely make it out here i know for a fact we can but we would be living kind of like tight we'll be living kind of like paycheck to paycheck and that's just not what we want we wanted to live not just survive and that's kind of like one of the main reasons what influenced our decision to move because we have plans for my husband to be like a business partner and have a job lined up basically one of our biggest values is work-life balance and he can yeah he can work out here we both can work but that's all we're gonna be doing we're gonna be slaving away to be able to make enough money and like 
that's not the lifestyle that I want to have. I want to be able to go and be present in our kids' life, whether they start sports and all these things, you know. But when it comes to like family, it's just I have, I'm really choked up right now. Like I didn't realize how hard this move is going to be for me. Two weeks already passed by and then now it's time to focus on the move and I'm still kind of like, damn, I know I planned it ahead of time before but now it's like it finally came and it's it's hitting and it's like wow it's like reality like damn time flew a little bit and now it's getting down to the time of letting go of our home and then leaving and it's just it's hard guys like i'm kind of going through it right now but i just pray that it's something that works out for us in the future that was a pretty big vent yeah i know it's a big vent so just wanted to get that off my chest guys and um, for those of you guys that are following our move and that's going to be following us to our entire move cross country stay tuned and we're going to continue vlogging our entire This is the entryway. This is where that black buffet thing was at. Our closets are emptied. I still have to like deep clean them with like our vacuum. Um, and this is the chaos that's happening right now in our like living room, dining room area. Um, this is our dining room table. And then the kids get into everything. So this is like toddler mess. And there's like toys and like the napkins and things that I need to like deep clean still. But this is basically all our other stuff. The chaos that you see on top of the table, I know it looks crazy, but it's like the little tiny corner that we have right here is like the food that we have um, that my mom had came and brought us. Um, the rest of the things that we're getting rid of. So this is like the stuff, like the kitchen things that we do not want. We want to donate or just give it for free to somebody that we know. Um, but it looks like chaos. That's actually what I'm about to tackle right now. And then this is like the rest of the stuff. Like I can't even walk through there freely because like you see it's like the pathway. We have like our um, little stairs and everything that has like a tag. They're, they said they're going to pack it up for us. Um, so all of our stuff, we're going to be leaving the couches. The couches are way too big for anything. I didn't really like the couches to begin with. My husband loved them. So we ended up going and um, getting them. This little corner, the stuff here, we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of it completely. So the couches, we're gonna give them away. I do want to deep clean them before because my kids, obviously, like as you can see, the little monster right there, he eats on the couches, so like they're kind of dirty. So I do want to deep clean them. We actually have like a carpet washer, so I want to do that. My little monster right here. Don't mind us. We all look like a hot mess, including me. Um, you see, she's like throwing things, which right now I'm kind of like exhausted from like chasing her around and I'm just gonna like let her do her you know but it is exhausting guys like moving is not easy I think this is what is this um, I'm already like you see I'm already scared I have freaking food on me because every time I carry them it gets all over me so but guys it's moving is hectic this is um, day one of like the packers coming the packing company coming and like helping us pack everything i've never experienced anything like that in my life like having a packing company come and like you know touch your things and like putting them away like for me I, it was kind of uncomfortable to begin with to be 100 percent real with you because i'm more of a person that wants to have control of the situation and i want to know exactly what's going into boxes like what's going first in the box and like you know doing all that good stuff but because dmo is actually covering our move dmo covers like six months after easing and indiana is my husband's home of record he actually um, got recruited from indiana which was really a win-win that's the reason why we ended up deciding to to move because this was a huge influence on our decision because it was going to be free well technically it's not really free because we we paid through it through service but this is one of the benefits at the end of the day that we get and it's actually dmo being covered my experience with dmo so far is pretty smooth it still feels like weird to have like somebody come and being like oh you know sit back relax we got this but then at the same time moving is hectic and i do not want to take things that it's extra so i wanted to take that extra time to declutter and really get like my house in order before you know people came and packed and i thought i planned it perfectly because i had a lot going on from like the end of march to um 
April because like I have my calendar here the 23rd I got surgery so in my mind I'm like okay two weeks later April 6th was gonna be my two week um, post-op which is actually like right now oh, actually where are we yeah I'm actually only two weeks post-op and I feel great like I've been I've been cleaning I've been lifting things I know I'm like I'm not really supposed to be lifting like things too heavy but I've been like doing things I've been like active they still have a lot to go down because I'm only two weeks and I keep forgetting because I feel I feel amazing I feel great I feel like I can do anything I actually want to work out because I've like started getting like a belly again because um, I've been flirting. I've been like, oh, I'm recovering. I'm eating ice cream. I'm eating like the most and um, I haven't been working out because of being post-op, but I'm still doing everything else. So helping clean and do all of this stuff, but because of still recovering, like I was limited to certain things, cluttering like a week ago because a week ago I did feel it. Like I was still on pain meds. I was still laying down a lot. I couldn't really get up. I was, you know, going through like my, my recovery phase. So I still, I technically only had like one week of feeling better, which is when I was like, okay, it's crunch time. The moving companies are gonna come and start packing our house up like in the next couple days. So that's when I started to try to declutter. So I've been on a time crunch guys and it's it's been hectic. It looks crazy. And then after that, in two days, they are gonna come and pick up everything. The house is gonna be completely empty. That's when we are gonna be deep cleaning this house because I wanna leave it clean for the next person. I just. I would like somebody to do that for me in the next house that you know we buy over there but i want to like do that deep clean and then once they take the refrigerator and the tv it's our time to hit the road because with no tv to have my kids entertained and give me some kind of breaks and no refrigerator for food there's no reason for us to be here anymore so